The Guide to Being a Piece of Shit Veteran on the Internet. Step 1. Ostracize other veterans. This is an important step. First off, you're going to want to post something on your Facebook page about how all veterans need to stick together. Then you're going to want to head to the comments section of any of the 2.1 million military-themed Facebook pages. What you'll do from there is hone in on any comment where someone contradicts your worldview. Then you're going to want to hit them with a barrage of mean-spirited statements like Snowflake, Libtard, Butthurt, or all of the above. Let them know, since they have a different outlook on things than you, that they need to go find a safe space. There's no need for cordial discussion when you've already laid out the standards of how millions of veterans, spanning multiple generations and backgrounds, are supposed to believe and act. Additionally, you should openly call into question whether they served or not if they have a different viewpoint. Step 2. Ostracize non-veterans. Let's face it, only people who served in the military understand what it means to be an American. Everyone else is a civilian piece of shit who shouldn't be allowed to comment on how to make America a better place. Because you're the one who signed a blank check worth up to and including your life. These civilian pieces of shit include the Wright brothers, Benjamin Franklin, Henry Ford, Martin Luther King Jr., Thomas Jefferson, Steve Jobs, and your mom. They all don't get it. You serve, this is your country and your country alone. Step three, tout that shit. You're gonna wanna start off any post or comment with the phrase, as a veteran. This immediately lays the groundwork that you're an expert on whatever the topic is and that you speak for all veterans. Should people have to press one for English? Fuck no. As an American veteran, you don't wanna live in a country where you have to hear gibberish from other people's mouths, even though said country has no official language. Is it okay for people to enjoy fireworks on the 4th of July? No way, Jose. As a veteran, you don't wanna deal with people enjoying the freedoms you fought for, especially if it involves fun. A celebrity dies and you don't like the news covering it instead of the troops? Veteran. A complex issue dealing with national security that even our nation's best intellectuals struggle with? Veteran. A cooking vlog suggested a teaspoon of salt and you think it's too much salt? That's right, baby. You're a veteran and those piece of shit civilians just don't know how to cook. Step four, throw in the chips. Now that you've established to the public that you speak for all veterans, you're gonna wanna say some insanely racist, homophobic, and chauvinistic shit in order for people who have had little interaction with veterans to see that we're a bunch of assholes, thus preparing perpetuating the cycle of high veteran unemployment. That's a great way to keep the military-civilian divide at an all-time high. After that, you're gonna want to take a break from your computer. Battling libtard snowflakes all day can take its toll. So go do a recreational activity like open carry a rifle around an airport. It's your right. You fought for it. Hey man, don't forget step five! Oh yeah, step five. Start your own military apparel company. Let's face it, what this world needs is more military apparel brands. Make sure you're using buzzwords like Ooh. Spartan, Lion, Viking, Infidel, Dysfunctional, and our personal favorite favorite sheepdog as a bonus and your name with as fuck. pew 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 that's right then you can get so high on yourself that you make your own movie Bonus steps. Step 6.0. Constantly tell active duty troops how things were so much tougher when you were in the military. Make sure you're relegating their service even though there's nothing notable about yours. Step 6.1. Create an anonymous Facebook group and share nude pictures of female service members against their will because you have some deep-seated psychological issues regarding women. Step 6.2. After people call you out for step 6.1, remind them that it doesn't matter that you've habitually violated the privacy and dignity of your fellow service members because your Facebook group has done stuff to try to stop veterans and suicide. Even though suicide numbers haven't changed in a decade and your actions are literally putting so much stress on others that it's driving them to suicide. Step 6.3. Just keep being a dick to service members, veterans, and civilians in general.